is the second pass criteria for learning outcome one. You need to be able to explain the size and scope of a range of different types of organisations. An organisation's size can be expressed in several ways. It could be expressed in terms of turnover or profit. It might be defined by how many people it employs or the number of outlets if it is a retail store or by the range of products it offers. Keep in mind here that the PASS criteria requires you to apply these concepts of size and scope to a range of different organisations. So think about what size and scope really mean to, for example, a large retail chain, a specialist business to business company and an international charity. You need to think here about how an organization's size might influence decisions about what type of organization or legal structure is the most appropriate. And perhaps different situations where small or large size may be an advantage or conversely a disadvantage. The second aspect of this PASS criteria is scope. Scope defines issues like the breadth of an organization's markets, geographic locations and the variety of products and services it offers. So the market scope of our large retail chain may be relatively limited. Mainly people in the market for DIY goods or furniture or whatever the chain specialises in. Geographic locations will be determined by the potential demand identified in specific towns. And a retail chain may stock a great variety of products, but all relating to a specific sector, like stationery or electrical goods. A specialist business-to-business -business company may be able to serve a worldwide market. They will work from a limited number of locations and probably offer a limited range of complementary services. An international charity may be working to raise funds in many countries although may only providing help to one country. And it may have very limited scope, in that it is concerned with just one issue, like homelessness or epilepsy. Finally, I think it will help here if you consider the three elements described in PASS criteria 1 and 2, that is type, size and scope as being three very important interrelated facets of an organisation. You need to understand the complexities of this interrelationship, but you need to identify this relationship in action in different organisations and be able to convey this clearly in your assignment.